Let's go! <laughs> she became crazy. Uh, what I love about this movie is that I've been able to meet a great dude, I've uh, been able to meet a great director, and, and I hope it shows on screen. We, we've been, we, we had the chance to spend those uh, three months, two, two months and a half, sorry, three, three months, months. Uh, on the road with a uh, amazing crew, German crew, Spanish crew, French crew, all coming together to tell this story, this very important story. Um, there is, of course, the, the political aspect, but there is also this uh, just friendship story that's really, I, I mean, we need to tell a, a, a lot more of those stories. Those are very mm. important. And that's what I love about the movie. It's very actual and very also, um, I mean, uh, that movie could could exist like 30 years before, and it could exist now. It's just about friendship and just about coming together and and, and helping one to another to another. So yes, mm -hmm. that's what I, I love about the movie and this guy. <laughs> also, this guy, uh, and yeah, like similarly, I feel very lucky to have met everyone that I did uh, because of this film. But also, watching it, my favorite thing is is just the memories that it brings back. Like whenever mm -hmm. every scene and every like different shot and different location just makes me think of when we were there and like the different things we did and where we hung out and everything else. So. And it brings like I mean, it brings just uh, memories from your personal life. I don't know, but like there is that scene when we get high. It reminds me of the first time I got high. Sorry, mom. Uh, <laughs> reminds there is that you know that crazy party in the RV like. It just reminds you of like the best party that you had with your friends. Like that movie just connects so much reality. It's it's just great. You know that's uh, that's what I like about that movie. That's what I like. That's what I like. I find it hard to have like a favorite scene. I think if probably because I'm in it, it's like a certain, there's a certain amount of. Um, I find it hard to get <coughs> the objectivity. Um, I suppose feel a bit too close to it. But I really, I think the, um, the scene, actually, I, I like the, I like the opening when you're walking, the opening shot of mm. you walking along the highway, of Stefan, you know, walking along the highway before we met, I think is really well shot. Uh, yeah. Soll ich dich mitnehmen? Ist das dein Auto? Gehört meinem Stiefvater. Weiß er, dass du es geklaut hast? Nein, ausgeliehen. Willst du mit? <laughs> no, working with Sebastian was actually, for me, um, uh, as a young actor, that was maybe the most um, impressive experience that I had because Sebastian was really willing to do anything to get us, um, to be just, to feel comfortable on set and to just you know like, we could like really, um, we, we were very lucky, we were kind of spoiled because you could ask for anything and since he's the producer of the, mu the movie, he could help you with that and that was great and he had a great vision of a director he's, and, he's a, and being a former actor, I uh, feel like um, he, he knows what's going on, like he, he really is um, he's just, uh, uh, he's just gifted and that was great for me to work with uh, Sebastian blah blah blah, right? Uh, that, that was... Uh, <laughs> That was that was very for me. That was very that was my best. I would say for me that was my best experience. But I'm super young. Like my career is this tiny, and Finn is this big. You know. <laughs> so, yep. No, I loved it. I thought it was great. I'm a massive fan of Sebastian's as well. Um. Anyway, and yeah. Ich bin Gillen übrigens. William. Was ist dein Plan? Ich suche meinen verrückten Bruder. Als wir zuletzt von ihm gehört haben, war er in Frankreich. Wir müssen also beide nach Frankreich. Erwischen Sie dich? Stecken Sie mich ins Gefängnis? We, we did improvise a bit, didn't we? We did we improvise. Some, we also a lot of some of the script, some of the dialogue is uh, devised from improvisation that we did in rehearsals before we started shooting. Yeah, true. In <coughs> Berlin, a lot of improvisation, in, mm. improvisation with, were made in Berlin. And uh, yeah, we, I mean, we were pretty lucky because Sebastian would, wanted just us to, to feel like teenagers and to, and, and, uh, and, and we had to improvise, you know, in that, in that, that, that was very important. So mm. yeah, th we had room for that. Ich suche meinen Bruder. Hast du eine Aufenthaltsgenehmigung? Wir haben gerade so viele Probleme mit der Polizei. Wieso kommst du nicht mit? Mein Dad kann dir helfen. 
Und dann bist du damit von Marokko hierher. Hast du den Verstand verloren? Ich gehe nicht zurück zu Mom. Setz dich hin. Zwing mich doch. Uh, I mean, uh, that wasn't like more about pretending. That was really about like trying to feel every inch of it and going to to Ceuta, going to Calais, going to Port de la Chapelle in Paris and meeting with uh, what we call migrants. I like to call them just human beings, but you know, uh, meeting with all my folks and talking with them and sharing their stories and just, you know, uh, just, you know, like, okay, what, what, what would be the word to just, you know, like, put those stories in yourself, embody those stories. Um, just taking it in. Yeah, taking it in. And, and so I didn't feel like pretending. I, I, I wouldn't say I was a migrant. I, I'm not in the same situation. I'm very, I'm a very lucky, uh, uh, very lucky French guy. But that, that was just about being more realistic possible and being the, being the more honest, you know, and, uh, and connecting to my roots because I'm Congolese too. So I had to, to, you know, to talk to my cousins, to talk with my dad and my mom about all of, the, all of that and that was a great, you know, work of, uh, that was just a great way to work, you know, and, um, and, uh, and, I want, and I wanted just to be honest, I wanted to, to do justice to those Williams and Baptiste who are out there and need their voices to be heard, you know, so, you know, I, I hope I wasn't like, just pretending, I hope I was living through it. And you know what, I was kind of living through it, just being a black folk in Morocco, you go there, you experience racism as like, like any black guy there and that was that was kind of a that that was really that was highs opening I would say Willst du immer noch deinen Bruder suchen? There is a lot of beautiful uh, 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 places in Morocco and there is also so uh, a lot of places who needs to do like more works concern, concerning just being tolerant you know like we I had some rough experiences there like uh, I got rejected of restaurants I got called the n-word in the streets uh, Finn was there and and that was that was really bad for my moral but also that was great because we live what Gillen and uh, and William experience. We Finn wanted to fight with him, and I was I was like William. I said that we really need to make our race small here. We're not in our country. We don't know how this thing goes. We might get stabbed or whatever. And so um, so yeah, that was very very. That was a strange experience, but that was really eyes opening. Like I said, that you you you. This movie is important for that because it tells you a lot from all these countries. Ich habe keinen Pass, ich habe gar nichts. Ich bin hier nicht willkommen. Ich muss klug sein und nicht dumm. The world is still not fair to to minorities, but we we working on that, and that movie is a, a good way to progress. I would say, absolutely. Jedes Ding, das wir gemacht haben, war verrückt, riskant und dumm. Ich brauche dich als meinen Freund. Das ist alles. Film is a, a beautiful way to get. Crushed by the talent of Finn Whitehead. Show me to the film is great fun. <laughs> yes, yes, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We find a way. Versprochen. <laughs>